I designed an island without Nintendo Online in 30 days. Or I guess I haven't yet, technically, but that's the challenge that I am proposing upon myself. I'm gonna be completing this island in 30 days with no Nintendo Online subscription. Here are the rules. No Nintendo Online or DLC. Obviously, I can't use any features that come with having a Nintendo Online subscription. I can't visit other people's islands. No trading, no <laughs> treasure islands, no custom design portal, nothing. I also won't be using the Happy Home Paradise DLC since I feel like if you don't have Nintendo Online, you most likely don't have the DLC either. Time traveling is allowed. Now you don't need Nintendo Online to time travel, thankfully, and I'm going to be doing this in 30 IRL days, real life days, and not 30 in-game days, so I can time travel as much as I need to. Am I cheating? Technically yes, but also no. Keep in mind that you're supposed to play this game really slow, you know, take it day by day, so just let me have this one thing, please. This is the only way I can finish this island in 30 days, okay? <laughs> and the final rule must finish in 30 days. Even if I don't decorate every single pixel on the island once 30 days is up the island is done i'm not going to be aiming for perfection i'm just aiming to finish the goals which are to have 10 villagers that i like each with a decorated yard to fully upgrade and decorate each building and that being nooks ables the museum and resident services and to have at least five other separate builds finished so those are the rules those are the goals let's get into it our island startup was pretty simple, just the standard stuff. I went with my typical choices for hair, eyes, and nose, and tried not to be too picky about the island layout. I did restart once and ended up picking this island layout. I liked it because the little peninsula was kind of in the middle of the right side of the island there, and I liked how the cliffs were. I thought these cliffs were extremely unique, and while I was flying in, I was really excited to see what fruits, what starter villagers, what airport color we would get. Oh, oranges! Heck yeah. I love oranges. Oh my goodness, not cat! I just kicked cat off on my other island. <laughs> I don't know who this lion is though. Rory. Oh my goodness, cat, this is really awkward. I'm sorry, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> of course, I attended our little meeting with our two starter villagers and Timmy and Tommy and Tom Nook. I always really enjoyed these first couple of days on a new island. It's just so fresh, so new, so fun. Just brings me back to March 2020 all over again. But after getting a tent from Timmy, I went ahead to go and choose the most perfect location. Okay, I keep making the mistake that I try to put the tent in like a cute spot. It goes on the beach. Okay, it goes on the beach. That's all we need literally like this is the only correct place to put the tent otherwise it's just in the way so there we go beach tents every time every time what's up my dude you need some help i i know the perfect spot for a tent i'll find you a spot don't even worry about it he's gonna love this he he's gonna love this so much look at that prime spot by the rocks are you kidding me all right cats i i got you even though it's awkward i <laughs> I, I i gotcha don't don't even don't even worry about it my dude this is this is another prime spot beautiful so after that it was time for me to go and collect some sticks and i don't know why i have to be the one to do this like they sent me to go do the grunt work like come on i have a feeling that's going to be a theme throughout the rest of this island just me doing all the grunt work as per usual i keep thinking every time i restart a new island hey maybe some villagers will do some work hey maybe the villagers will you know come up with the sticks instead of me having to go and vigorously shake trees but apparently not you know i'll just keep on wishful thinking i guess i also knew tom nook was gonna ask me for oranges so i went ahead and collected those as well he's always really impressed when you do that when you do stuff without him asking basically reading his mind so yeah i did that i handed everything over to tom nook you're welcome good sir and then it was time for our nightly little gathering everyone came gathered all up and we're just gonna talk about the island and do all that stuff i'm gonna resist making an arson joke about tom nook again because i do that every time and i decided to choose the name lack for our island now this has a lot of different meanings and it, it, it's actually a very deep meaning it's because we lack Nintendo Online. I mean, nobody else had any good ideas anyway. And then after a toast of some very tart orange juice, I went ahead and started setting up my tent to go to sleep. I got a pink radio, score, and I went ahead and placed down my cot and passed out. 
And in the morning, Tom Nook was screaming at me to come outside of my tent. So I was like, dude, what is going on? I literally just woke up. He gave me a phone and then I was in debt, apparently. I, I did not sign up to be in debt, but I quickly started grinding my Nook Miles, taking pictures, drawing pictures, writing beautiful sentences. Definitely you got to pick up a lot of weeds. Um, just picking fruits, picking weeds, the grind. This is the section where you are basically doing just a whole bunch of tasks for Mr. Good Sir Nook. You are going and asking him what to do. You're picking up sticks, you're crafting things, you're picking up weeds, you're cleaning up, you're just clearing the island. It's a whole bunch of work. I crafted a beautiful, beautiful fishing rod so that I could go and fish. I sold some oranges. You know, what's what what's a day without selling some oranges and some weeds here on Lac? You know what I mean? I planted some flowers to make the area look a little nicer and also to get nook miles. And the nook miles just keep steadily adding up and then you go back to picking weeds and it's slow again and you don't earn any nook miles but you see tommy and his little flag and you think maybe everything's gonna be okay then i went back to timmy inside in the nice cold ac and sold him some other random stuff another 50 weeds which earned me some more nook miles of course selling weeds definitely gotta sell those weeds i crafted a flimsy net so i could get to bug catching then i bought a whole bunch of trees all of this stuff that i'm doing is purely to earn nook miles i'm just doing as many actions as i possibly can to get nook miles like you want me to do a flip and you'll give me nook miles for that i'll freaking do it you know but i started going on my bug catching spree catching butterflies very badly catching beetles catching water beetles in front of my villagers and i started piling all of them up for blathers because i know that i would get him the next day just a lot of bug catching and not thinking about the other tools that i hadn't crafted like slingshots yeah, but I felt like these were the only moments that I could really enjoy this island because I know it was going to be such a rat race to finish it from here on out. And this was the only kind of chill part where I was just relaxing, doing the fishing, doing the bug catching, picking the weeds. And uh, yeah, I'm just I'm going to miss this pure simplicity, this pure vibes when everything was just slow and simple because I know it's about to get extremely fast and complicated. <laughs> I decided to check my mail because it was beeping very annoyingly and Nintendo sent me something. Thanks besties. It was just a recipe but I, I, I take it, you know? I take any sort of recipe, any sort of gift. It was for a simple DIY workbench beautiful i learned it on the spot done i was almost done earning my 5,000 miles and after struggling very 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 oh my goodness very much to catch this stupid little water bug i finally earned my last miles and i had 5,000 now so first i sold some stuff to timmy just to like clear out my inventory in preparation for my next tasks and i talked to mr nook and i was like what's up my dude i got the miles you're pretty surprised right congratulate me congratulate me then after that he wanted some bugs i mean i don't judge i really don't so i decided to give him all of the bugs until he was finally like okay that's enough bugs and he called this dude named blathers to come to our island and i was like okay cool i mean you could have asked me but sure earned for more miles asked if i could maybe stop living in a tent that'd be nice i went with a red roof pretty standard pretty generic pretty basic pretty good once again realized in the most unfortunate way that i still did not in fact craft a slingshot but i did craft an axe so i went to town chopping down some trees i was too lazy to pick up the wood i mean like it's just so much easier if you chop all of them you know what i mean so i was busy getting my little booty into gear chopping wood when i came across my first wasp encounter and i was very scared but thankfully due to years of precision and skill and gaming i was able to survive after almost decapitating tommy with a tree branch i was still working on my little pile of fish it was going pretty good i visited the nook stop and i got some more miles and i was already back up to 4650 miles and then i ordered just five items because i want to order items daily so i can quickly get that little uh nook shopping app because that's a very convenient app and now we are back and it is much later in the day but it is the same day from uh, all of that that you were just watching i was just recording the voiceover that you just listened to and uh, yeah, the video it, the video was was really short, so I'm here playing a little bit more today. I'm not sure if I should time travel. I'm debating if I should time travel. 
Oh goodness, I am I am terrible at catching some of these bugs. Cause like, I can't really do anything in terms of progression with the resident services or building the shops because Blathers comes tomorrow. So I just have to basically wait until tomorrow. So I'm not sure if I should just wait until actual tomorrow, like IRL, cause it is pretty late for me. Or if I should just time travel right now and maybe knock some stuff out. Cause this is like a pretty good spot to end it, you know? But at the same time, ooh, I have more mail. Oh my goodness, Rory, thank you so much. That's so, that's so chill of him. That's so gamer of him. What did he get us? What did this rascal get us? Oh my goodness, a little hat. I'll take it. I noticed how Cat did not send me a gift. Just want, just want you to take note of that. Just want you to lock that away in your little noggins. I was hoping we would maybe get some shooting stars. That kind of... That would have been nice because i'm trying to think like what should the main goal be to finish this island i'm gonna need a lot of furniture but let's see if i don't have access to uh methods of getting some extra furniture <laughs> some supplemental furniture i'm gonna need a lot of bells so should we focus on bell making like I'm not sure. Should I focus on just having a lot of nook miles? There's a lot of good furniture in the nook stop that I could be using. Making an island in such a short amount of time, like with no catalog, it's uh, it's gonna be difficult. Oh, and I don't- oh no, my inventory's full. Do I have a bug that I already- nope. Oh no. Alright, bye moth, sorry. I just need to clean out my inventory real quick, I hope you don't mind. Good sir, I'll keep that, I'll keep that, we'll get rid of this, let me keep those materials, I'm gonna try not to sell those materials. I think we should time travel, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna time travel to tomorrow. Hello, hello, time for an island-wide broadcast, your source for island news. Can't say I have much in the way of news to report to you today. Oh, one item I should share, this morning I happened upon a rare colored seashell while walking across the beach. Oh. He's like, you could craft a shell wreath with the recipe I just sent you. I don't know. Unless? JK, unless? Oh, and look at that. Look at our little house. So quaint. Ooh, and we have some miles. Oh, forgetting our house. Amazing. Thank you. Let's go see what Tom Nook says that we got to do for him today. I agree we need to build a shop. Oh, it's Timmy's small business. Heck yeah. Oh, and my new home loan. 98,000 bells. Ooh, a Nook Mile ticket. I will gladly take one if you're going to give one to me, perhaps. I've got just the thing for you. My good friend Blathers will be joining us on LAC. Would you be so kind as to stake out a small area for him to get set up? Sure. He says that and then he doesn't give me a tent or anything. When the heck do we get... Oh. Since when did I have this? <laughs> Wait, did I have that since yesterday? I have no clue. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to put Blather's tent right here, right next to the resident services, just so it's nice and convenient. Well, let's go ahead and do our daily routine. I'm going to check the nook stop. I'm going to order five items. I'm going to go check for my bottle on the beach and shake some trees. I really need those items from my trees because... We, just, we need to bulk out our catalog as much as humanly possible. So any item that we can possibly get our hands on, our filthy little hands on, I will I will freaking take it. Okay, I didn't get a single item. I did get some bells, but that was it. I also noticed our money spot is here. So I want to dig that up. And in the future, that'll be part of the daily routine. But I have to go make a shovel. I don't even have a shovel recipe. Love it. Love it. Okay, let's see what Tom Nook has to say after we put down that tent. Okay, so we're going to need 30 pieces each of regular wood, hardwood, softwood, and 30 iron nuggets. Oof. I'm not concerned about where these materials come from. <laughs> Timmy's like, if you gotta smuggle them in, I don't care. Just get me the materials. I'm going to buy some flimsy axes because I know we're going to be chopping down a lot of wood. Also got to get the rocks because the iron is going to be the worst part. <laughs> All right, we're just about halfway there. I'm craving spaghetti so hard right now. It's like I've come full circle. I was initially always craving Alfredo, but tonight, tonight the spaghetti cravings are tormenting me and plaguing me and breaking my axe, apparently. Oh, I hear a balloon. I keep forgetting to make a slingshot. C can I make one really quickly? <laughs> I've missed so many balloons, which is so unfortunate because like I keep saying, we just need as many items as possible. So oof, this uses some of our wood. It's worth it though. It's worth it. What? I already had one. Oh my goodness. When am I going to realize that I have stuff that I actually need in my inventory? What did we get? We got a shower set and it only goes on the inside. I'm going to go sell that. Okay. I just got 30 of each wood and we are only up to six iron nuggets, which is very unfortunate. 
But we got some Nook Miles for chopping down trees. I'll take it. 500. Thank you so much. Okay, so the goal is Iron Nuggets. I mean, we can time travel for my rocks. You know, we can do that. We can use our one Nook Mile ticket. We can do that. Yes, here you are, good sir. Take your wood. Thank you very much. I get some stuff. Thank you. I'll take that. I am going to sell some of that stuff right back to you, but it's it's fine, right? Okay, I do have some items floating around in my pockets, so I'm going to go ahead and start placing these. This is just my little tactic that I like to use to get to three stars pretty quickly. Just any, any singular item that I get, if it can be placed outside, I place it outside. I did sell the shower set just because you can't put that down outside. Yeah, I just place all of my items outside and usually gets me to, pre to three stars pretty quickly. I say let's just wrap up this day and let's go to tomorrow. We'll have blathers and we'll have probably some more stuff to do. Let's do it. Now for today's news, we got blathers. Heck yeah. Let's go ahead and do our daily routine. I'm gonna check my mail, buy my five items, check for my message in a bottle, shake some trees, and unfortunately we still cannot grow our money spot. Okay, so mom did send us some apples, which I need to remember to plant, so that's going to be really nice. We have Blather's tent. Let's check my little DIY for today. A log chair. Thank you very much. So we have quite a bit to do. We have to finish gathering up that iron, and we got to talk to Blather's and see what he wants us to do. I'm pretty sure he gives us a tool recipe. You know, what I also should be doing is my daily Nook Miles Plus tasks, like at least the times two ones. But honestly, I kind of want to just really focus on getting three stars and unlocking terraforming because that's really what's going to help us out a lot. And that's going to be one of the main the main ways I'm going to go about decorating this island terraforming. That's all we're really going to be able to do. OK, I'm going to pick up as many bugs and fish as I can to give to Blathers. All right. I know he has like just so much dialogue. So I'm going to skip through this and I'll meet you back in a second. Vaulting Paul, let's go. All right, we did it. We got all the bugs and fish and donations for Lack Museum. You're welcome, Blathers. I, you know what? Remember this. Better remember this. I do want to redeem for something. I'm thinking the extra inventory space. It's going to eat up most of our miles, but we we really need it we really need it i'm gonna go ahead and get that okay so i just realized that i do have the shovel recipe now okay we can finally do our money tree as well thank goodness and i've got quite a bit of bells we're gonna invest some of it back in i think i'm gonna take up my one singular ticket hunt and then i'm gonna call it a day after that officially so we'll just i think we'll get a villager and i'll just invite whatever villager is there and we'll get some materials and so that'll be it for today okay so we did not get a fruit tree island which is slightly unfortunate because i was really hoping for some fruits oh and we have marina oh my goodness okay well i'm gonna invite her um, right now in this beginning stages, I really just, I need bodies. I need bodies to get to three stars. So I'm just going to take whoever I come across for now. And thankfully I do like her. So she would count for the 10 villagers that I like goal. Okay. So we are going to steal these coconuts. I definitely need these. I got an item from a tree, our first item, and it's an air circulator. How fun. Thankfully, we got a whole bunch of iron from this one. Oh, this was so good. We still need seven more iron nuggets for the shop. Ah, oh, I have enough Nook Miles for another ticket. So let's just go spend some precious miles on another ticket. Go to another Nook Mile Island. Potentially invite another villager. And we just finish off this stupid iron ore quest for Timmy and just get that over with. All right. Okay, let's see. We have Bo. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're getting some good ones. I'm going to invite him. He's cute. I used to have him back on my very, very first Fairy Core Island. I had him for a little bit. So good to see you again, Bo. Welcome back. Okay, I'm going to quickly get this freaking iron and get out of here. It's my flimsy shovel bit the dust, but we got enough iron here are your stupid iron nuggets take them all right we're gonna pick out the location of the shop thank you thank you guess where i'm gonna put it right next to the museum besties this is the spot 
Okay, so I think that's going to be all from me today, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on day one of LAC. Well, you know, day one IRL. We, we time traveled a bit, but it was worth it. So hopefully episode two, we will get a lot more done. I'm really dreading those three housing plots. Ugh, I'll be making all that furniture, getting all those materials. I'm not ready. I'm really not. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.